Fresh Flavors Monopoly. Um, have some, some can of butter being made. I started this at midnight, so it's only been about <clears throat> um, it's only been about 10 hours. Um, I usually let it go in the crock pot for 16 plus hours, give or take. It doesn't matter. Anything over 16 plus hours is great to me. Um, what's in here? There's um. Let me see. Get my numbers right. There's five pounds of um, unsalted butter. This butter, um, I get this from Costco, which is awesome because it, it's these big old cubes, these big. I used to get this unsalted butter from the grocery store and there's a whole bunch of little, little sticks of butter, but this one is big old blocks. There's like, um, how many is in this one? I want to say there's like five, five blocks in this one, or four blocks, four pounds in here. I, f I forget how much it says in there. But um, I use um, five of these bricks of butter in here, five bricks of butter, and I want to say four cups of um, water, four cups of water, and the material I use, there's 10 ounces of um, cannabis material in there, five ounces of dry, uh, ground it up bud and five ounces of good trim so 10 ounces all together 10 ounces all together of um, cannabis material five pounds of unsalted butter and four cups of water on a 16 plus hour crock pot um, slow slow low temperature low temperature and that's pretty much it like I said I'm gonna give it like six six to eight more hours in here give or take and then I'm gonna go drain it in the, um, the cheesecloth I've only got a cheesecloth this is my first um, can of butter batch but I actually have the cheesecloth I always um, go urban and just use like a t-shirt or something I just use a, um, a t-shirt that I don't want anymore and I drain it that way which works but it's definitely not the better way so I finally did it the proper way da, 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 da. so this can of butter will be ready for like I said these holiday seasons like I said I'm just out I gave um, um a couple members of um our collective um, a couple jars of this butter so they can have a mm, great holiday and whatever whatever so I'm gonna say so uh, pretty much done I had it on the low temperature for 16 plus hours. I want to say 17 and a half hours actually. And now I have it in, and I, I've been having it in the house for in like two hours. I've been trying to let it cool down naturally, which is perfect timing because all of a sudden now it's raining outside. So got it outside. So once this um, cools down enough where I can squeeze it, drain it in the cheesecloth and do it with my bare hands, without getting my hands burned because I had <laughs> my hands burned the, um, the last time I tried to just rush it. So like I said, I'm let it cool down and then we'll, we'll um, strain it and with this cheesecloth. This is my first time doing it with cheesecloth. I always, like I said, I always did it the, the quick, uh, cheap way and I just use a, um, a cut up, cut in half t-shirt, but this is definitely the better way um, from what I have read and so, like I said, another hour or two, cooling off, and then I'll strain it. That's why this is my favorite. I'll fade in, fade out. So we strained it already. It's still one more phase to go. Let it cool off. It'll cool off and harden up, and then you'll be able to um, cut through it, and um, it'll separate it. the butter and the water is still mixed up, but once you put it in the refrigerator, it'll cool off and it'll separate all the water will go to the bottom and then you just cut a hole in there and drain it out and voila. So we'll fade out, fade in to the final um, video clip. Crushed Flavors Monopoly. Um, this is what it looks like the next day from the refrigerator. You want to cut a hole, cut a hole in it and and drain the water. Let me do that and then I'll fade in, fade back out, fade out, fade back in. <laughs> and this is what it looks like and all of that is what you want to get rid of let me see if I can do this for one hand it's all the water that was cooked in there we don't need that we just want the butter oh. and I'm gonna do that
that for this one, and then we'll be pretty much done. Let's do this one. So that's the bullshit. It doesn't need to be in there. And then, like I said, the rest is the good stuff, the can of butter, which you make the edibles with. The better quality material you use in the crock pot method, the bomber it comes out with. Like I said, this was five ounces of good bud, round it up, and five ounces of good trim, all mixed in one, so 10 ounces of cannabis material to five pounds of butter to four cups of water crock pot method 16 plus hours i want to say this was 17 plus hours about 18 hours and then and then overnight overnight early morning in the refrigerator to cool off and then we drained it and voila it's actually done and now you just need to store it in an airtight store it good just like butter just like butter and margarine from the um, grocery store, this is the same principle. Fresh flavors Monopoly, and this is our can of butter. Super fire. Our edibles are super fire. Like I said, I've been big on making cupcakes lately. That's my new thing, just because you can flip the topping and it makes them different. It makes them different just by flipping the topping. And next time I make some edibles, I'll record that too. I'm gonna get back to this and let y'all get back to this. Get back to that. Fresh flavors of Monopoly over everything. And like I said, this is our.